The purpose of this video is to discuss breaking technique in 8-ball and 9-ball and the variables that require your attention. Many players do not take the break seriously enough. The shot shown here would take a considerable amount of precision to make. A successful break requires just as much precision. At higher levels, the break becomes the shot that separates good players from dominant players. One should never approach the break in a haphazard manner. There are two principal styles of breaking, power breaking and soft breaking. The first method we will consider is power breaking. The power break calls for several modifications to a normal stroking technique. This picture demonstrates a normal stroking stance. To generate more power, it is best to have your head elevated higher above the cue than normal. Your stance should change to support a higher head elevation. Your stance should also promote balance and stability as shown in this picture. There is not a consensus among pros and experts concerning the location of the grip on the cue. Some pool gurus teach that one should grip the cue further back to create more power. Others claim that a closer grip creates a shorter lever action in your arm and thus a more powerful stroke. The bridge arm should be bent 35 to 45 degrees as shown in this picture. Many pros prefer a closed bridge which tends to provide more control over the cue. The distance of your bridge from the cue ball depends on what you are trying to accomplish. More power can be derived from lengthening the bridge. Control is enhanced by shortening the bridge. Your grip should remain loose, only gripping the cue tightly after contact has been made with the cue ball. Some players, especially old schoolers, have a stroking motion where they jack the butt of the cue up as shown in this picture. A cue ball jump upon contact with the stack is indicative of a jacked up stroking motion such as this. Just as many experts, however, advocate for a level stroking motion. After taking a few practice strokes, it is important to take a set pause at the very back of your backstroke as shown in this picture. When practice stroking, many players inadvertently lose power by breaking before they pull the Q-tip all the way back. A back pause is an effective method of preventing this. To generate maximum power, players employ a wrist pop just before contact with the cue ball as the cue is reaching the peak of its acceleration. When generating power, it is important to remember to have relaxed and loose muscles. Tense muscles are slow muscles. The stroking arm should remain loose and fluid all the way through your stroking motion. It is also important for your cue to follow completely through on the same elevation where the cue ball was struck. Control is difficult to maintain on a power break. Loss of control leads to scratching. Scratching on the break puts the offending player at a major disadvantage. It is for this reason that some players prefer the soft break. Soft break technique resembles a regular power stroking technique where you concentrate on controlling the cue ball rather than generating extraordinary force. All of the technique for power breaking and soft breaking is contingent on a square hit on the one ball. This diagram shows where to aim on the one ball to achieve a square hit from any location behind the head string. No matter how hard you, your stroke, power is negated by an indirect hit on the one ball. This diagram shows the path of the cue ball for a side rail nine ball break. In eight ball or nine ball, one goal of each break is to leave the cue ball in the area shown in this diagram. This location gives you the greatest chance of pocketing a ball following any given break. Cue ball location on the break varies depending on the rules and how the table is breaking. Many tournaments restrict breaking to the break box as shown in this diagram. 
when it is clear that balls are breaking or being racked loosely or the table is playing slowly some eight ball players set up from the side rail and strike the second ball in the rack as shown in this diagram there are several playing conditions that affect the break dirty slimy dinged up balls and worn cloth slows ball action down reducing the chance of pocketing a ball the quality of the racking is the single most important environmental factor loosely racked balls will confound even the most powerful breaker extra care should be taken to ensure a tight rack whether you are using a power break or a soft break cue ball control is the most important thing that must be achieved remember pool is a game of finesse and not brute force this portion of the video is intended to give uh, the previous five minutes a little more unity okay, as I stated earlier uh, the cue ball placement on the table really depends on how the table is breaking and it depends on the rules of the particular tournament that you're playing in as far as where you can break so the first thing I'd like to demonstrate is your typical uh, stance this will be your typical stroking technique uh, when you're trying to generate more power, uh, your head elevation is going to be uh, higher. Uh, and you maybe can't see my hand here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume a, a closed bridge for a break. Okay? As I said earlier, there is no consensus on where to grip the cue. Uh, further back, closer in, there's arguments for both. Uh, one thing that you want to keep in mind is that when you're practice stroking, right before you pull the trigger, you want to have a back pause. Um, that ensures that you're drawing the cue back as far as possible. Uh, the more distance your, your cue travels before it hits the cue, the cue ball, uh, the more power you're going to generate. Uh, so, we, we take the back pause, and this is... The, the main reason why I added this portion of the video, when people pull the trigger, especially you see a lot of guys like Johnny Archer or Francisco Bustamante, to get that extra little boost of power, they incorporate a wrist pop right before the contact with the cue ball. Uh, a lot of guys also, uh, when, they, when they have a wrist pop, uh, you see a body lunge or you see the body rise right at the end right at the point where the cue is reaching its, uh, its peak of acceleration. Uh, now that timing is very difficult to, to perfect, to achieve. Uh, and if you don't have that uh, perfected, a lot of times what happens is you lose control of the cue ball. There's a little bit of inaccuracy with all that body movement. So what I do, and, and my personal preference is, uh, I like to use more of a soft breaking technique, which is not greatly different from my usual stroking technique, except I'm hitting the ball a little harder, and I'm really concentrating on uh, controlling the cue ball, either stopping it or drawing it a little bit, but I don't want the cue ball flying all over the table. So if you feel like you've, uh, you've benefited from this video, if you've learned something, or, or any other of my videos, uh, if you've learned things or uh, you if it has some entertainment value for you, please, uh, please comment on it, please rate it, please link it, please share it. Uh, the, the more things, the more exposure it gets, the more views, the more comments, more feedback that I get, uh, the more that I'm likely to, to post. Um, and the whole purpose of me doing this is, uh, you know, that, you, that more people have fun, that they get the same enjoyment out of pool that I get. Uh, so for God's sake, so push